In Creo Parametric Drawings, you can customize the symbol instance palette to include your own custom symbols. What I mean by that is when you're in a drawing, if you go to the Annotate tab, then to the Symbol drop-down menu, you can choose Symbol from Palette, and it's going to bring up this dialog box with a bunch of different symbols in there, predefined for you that you can place onto your drawing. You can add your own symbols to it. There is this Add to Palette button that you have in the dialog box, but I'm going to show you how I recommend that you do it, simply because I like to preserve the original palette as is. I don't like to make changes directly to it. To start off with, let me close out of here, and you'll notice that my interface looks a little bit outdated. That's because I'm currently in Creo Parametric 2.0. This is one of those operations that I recommend that you do in the oldest version of Creo Parametric that you currently use or anyone that you work with uses because if you do it in the latest version, the files are going to be saved to that version. You won't be able to use it if someone is in an older version like 5.0 or 4.0, 3.0, etc. So I am going to start off with by opening up the symbol instance palette file itself. It's just a drawing. Let's go to the open button and it's in the load point of your software. So I'm going to navigate to where I have Creo Parametric 2.0 installed on my computer. For me, it's in program files, PTC, Creo 2.0. Here we have common files. Here is the build code M240. And then we have this symbols folder. And then inside of here, we have palette. And there we have draw symbol palette. If I click the open button, here it is open on my computer screen. And this is simply what the palette is. It is a drawing with the symbols on here that you can grab and place. The first thing I'm going to do is save a copy of this file. Let's go to File, Save As, and then Save a Copy. Let me go to my working directory, and I have this Creo folder on my computer where I have all my personal files for my Creo parametric installation. And so I'm going to name this Draw Symbol Palette. And let me put the name of my company on there just so that I can recognize, oh yeah, this is the one that I customized. So I will click the OK button. Now let's open up that particular file. Here it is from my working directory. And to add a, another symbol in here, you go to the Annotate tab, then go to the Symbol dropdown, and you can choose Custom Symbol and grab a, another symbol that you want to place on here. But I don't have a symbol. Let me create one real quick. I'll create one for my new company logo. Let's go to the symbol drop down command again. And here is symbol gallery. And this is one of those commands that's going to open up the menu manager, even still today in Creo Parametric 6.0. I am really hoping that PTC creates a nice interface for defining symbols. But anyhow, let's click the define button. And for the name of my symbol, I'm going to call it my logo, hit the enter key. And this is going to take me back to a Pro Engineer Wildfire interface. You'll notice that we have the drop down commands over here, and we have icons up on the top, icons on the right hand side of the screen. So it's a little jarring if you're not a Pro Engineer Wildfire former user, you might be like, what the heck is going on? Anyhow, let me choose to bring in some geometry. If I go to the insert drop down menu, I can go to shared data and then from file. And let me grab this. Uh, it's larger than the format, get to feel, scale to fit format. I am going to click yes. And I have a few extra entities in here. So I'm going to delete them and I will come back when they are all deleted. All right, I deleted the extraneous entities, but here you can see my sheet border. This symbol is way too big. Let's scale it down. To do that, I can go to the Edit drop-down menu and then Transform. Here we have the Scale command. Right now, it's prompting me to select the detail items to rescale. I'm just going to swipe a box over everything. 
and then click OK out of the select menu. And then you select a free point, which is sort of like the scaling center point. And for the scale, let's only do like 10% of the original size, 0.1. So that is good. Let's go to the attributes. And for placing this on the drawing, I'm going to allow free placement. You could also do leaders if you want to. Uh, for doing a free placement, let me just select the center in here. And right now, the symbol instance height is fixed. I do not want it fixed. Let's have it variable using the drawing units for the size. And there's some other different attributes in here. I don't have, I don't need a fixed text angle, the mirror options. I don't need any of these different things. So this is good. Let me click the OK button. And then to finish up out of this symbol editing mode, we can click the done command out of the menu manager. And I can also write this out to disk. Here it'll prompt you if you want to uh, save it in a diff different location, offset from C slash Creo. I could enter in that information. I can't remember what the name of the folder is, but let's just dump it there for now. I'll accept the value. And so that symbol has been stored out to disk, and I can move it later on. But to add that particular symbol onto the palette, let us click the done button out of here and then from the symbol drop down I'm going to go to custom symbol and let me go to the drop down list and find where it is in the list here there we have it my logo and I'm just gonna drop it right in here there we go and that way someone can grab it off of there uh, if you wanted to change the size you can but eh, that's actually fine that's good let's click the OK button and so now I've got the symbol in my palette over here let us hit the Save button and again it's saving out the name of this drawing so I've got this updated but now I need to tell Creo Parametric to use this particular drawing instead of the default one to do that, we will go to the File command and then Options, Configuration Editor, and I'm going to add in an option for the name of the option. I can't remember what it is, but let's click the Find button and type in the word Symbol. And then if I take a look in this list over here, here it is, Symbol Instance Palette File. And for the value, I'm going to click the Browse button. And let me select this particular drawing and then click Open and then Add Change and then close out of here. And I can cancel out of there. Let's go down in the list and here we have, there it is, Symbol Instance Palette File and the value is set to that file. Now let's export these different settings out to my standard config.profile and click the OK button and then OK out of here. So now I am going to jump over to Creo Parametric 6.0, which I am currently using. All right, now I am back in Creo Parametric 6.0. Let me go to the Annotate tab and go to my Symbol drop-down command and then Symbol from Palette. And here we see in the palette, hey, there's my symbol. I can select it and then drop it on here if I want to. Hey, let's put it right there. And that way I have customized the symbol palette to include my particular object. And the nice thing about this, let's go over to the part window for this. I can also use this in model-based definition. So for example, let me create, let me go to the annotate tab and I can create flat to screen annotations. Let's go to the symbol drop down menu and then choose from palette. And like before, it's like, hey, here is my logo. And let's select the location right there for it and then click close. And it's a little small, let's select it and then go to the properties. And I can say, hey, let's change the height from the default of three. Let's try a value of 30. That's good. I mean, a little bit bigger. But now I'm using this as a flat to screen annotation. There we go. 
And so that way I have my logo in this particular part model as a 3D annotation. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.